welcome to your session. For those that do not know me, I am Tabitha, your psychic medium and healer. Okay, this is going to be about a month-long prediction for the zodiac sign Leo. Okay, so the angels that came through for you guys um, was Archangel um, Haniel. Archangel Haniel helps with uh, your spiritual gifts, okay? They were also talking about getting in touch with your feminine side. Um, creativity did come through really strong as well, which is not surprising because we are in uh, Pisces, Pisces when this is being filmed. You also had the angel, um, a no one come through, but they um, talked to me a lot about their galactic coding. So this angel kind of helps people, like helps star seeds. Um, so that did come up a as well like uh, they were talking a lot about like I said Haniel also deals with your spiritual gifts so they were talking about um, like trusting your instinct uh, going with your intuition uh, I am seeing a lot of people have abilities here um, in this reading so yeah they're gonna be assisting you this month um, you guys also got the octopus spirit and the snake so the octopus deals with um, deals with like wisdom, sorry, wisdom, complexity, mystery, uh, oh, visualization, um, also helps you to see through illusion. So, um, there's like some clarity there as well. Um, did I say mystery? Mystery as well. And then you have the snake, which is like all about like fertility, prosperity, um, transformation, immortality, uh, rebirth, uh, continual renewal of life. So um, really understanding uh, life as well. Like, sorry, that kind of made maybe didn't come out the way I wanted it. Um, you have a lot of knowledge about what happens beyond the now. Hope that made sense. I don't know. They channeled it kind of weird. <laughs> Anyways, the stone pick for you guys by source is Periodot. So this is a great stone if you kind of need to like boost your motivation a little bit. Um, I kind of remember last month they were telling you guys that um, it was kind of like you were burning the candle at both ends. Like you were really chasing things but like not achieving them and it was exhausting you. So uh, that did kind of come up a little bit again, but this is like putting your motiv motivation into the right place. And uh, they were strongly, heavily talking about the spiritual side of you. Um, they were also talking a little bit about seasonal depression. So uh, I don't know where some people are in the world when they watch this, but they were saying like a lack of vitamin D. So this stone can also help with that. Um, so it kind of like helps to revitalize you as well. Uh, and then your affirmations that came through from your starseed uh, galactic coding was love. Um, your truth, or sorry, live your truth. Um, you are here to share your love and your soul with everyone. And celebration, celebrate your achievements because you truly are a gift to this universe. Yeah, they really want you guys to shine. Something came in about like not dimming to fit in as well, which I would never think a Leo would would be like that but you know times are tough for collectives uh okay so let's get into it um i see that you guys are starting the month a little bit um it's it's not so much conflict it's more like you're at a crossroads so there are a few messages obviously here um so for some of you is picking up on this um like a, a group of three people, okay? Picked up on two situations. So I picked up in like relationship, but also in work. So for some of you, you feel like someone's being kind of sneaky in this group, okay? Um, I will just say now that uh, Earth came through, through really strong, especially um, uh, Capricorn. Um, you have uh, water here, um, especially Scorpio, so Scorpio, um, Cancer, Pisces. Uh, you also had um, quite a bit of air here, so you had uh, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Was that pretty much it, other than themselves? 
Yeah. Okay. So, like I said, you feel like someone could possibly be being sneaky, and it may be this like Earth or or Capricorn. Um, but there is like this just kind of like sneakiness, okay? Um, for some of you, I do see this like um, involvement of um, like a third party situation. So um, once again, I feel like it kind of has to do around this like maybe like earth energy. Um, could possibly be the water sign as well. Don't get too hung up on, on the signs, though, but uh, this is just kind of what's coming through. So anyways, you really are just wanting, like, emotional fulfillment. Like, you're wanting this happy partnership. But, like, not just a partnership. Like, you want, like, a union, okay? And for some of you, I do see this union. Like, I, I see, for some of you, you may secretly be getting married because uh, I see a celebration, a wedding, and, a, and being bound to something and then emotional fulfillment. So for some of you, uh, that could possibly be happening. Um, but you definitely, like, if if go with your gut, they're saying, because you do have this, like, very intuitive um, aspect around heartbreak and, like, um, like, or possibly, like, third-party heartbreak, right? So they are just saying, um, like, you have the gifts and abilities yourself, so um, use your high priestess energy or use your intuition, get in touch with your emotions, like, listen to your feelings, um, because that's what's gonna, what's gonna give you your answer, okay? Uh, so like I said, I see for some of you, um, there's definitely some, like, collaboration coming in and, and through work. And for some reason, it's, it's like a team of people, okay? But there's like, there's a team, but then there's like a partnership. So it's funny. They said like threes never work. There's always two people that are going to be like closer. You know what I mean? But anyways, no, there's like, I, they're like showing me like a team of people, but like there's two people that are like really, really strong on that team, okay? Um, and this is like a really good partnership. Like, I, you guys have a union here, and you have uh, the Two of Cups here. So it is looking like a very um, balanced partnership. Um, this is going to be someone who's going to be, like, your ride or die, like, really help you out, like, um, really be there for you, uh, really support you, and, and vice versa. Like, you do the same for them. It's, it's a very equal partnership, and um, a lot of success can come from it. A lot of, like, public recognition can come from it. Victory, success. Um, so you guys are wanting to close out a painful cycle. Um, and I see that you guys are. Like, there may have been um, conflict in this group surrounding that you're in. Uh, there may have just been a lot of conflict for you in the past. But I see that you guys are, like, closing this out and overcoming it. Like I said, you may need to um, go within, uh, use the help of Archangel Haniel and the Unknown Starseed Angel because um, they are really going to help you with like downloads and just going with, with what's right. Um, so I see that you guys uh, are going, so it's like someone wants to help you guys, okay? So I feel like there may be some earth energy um, that wants to help you guys. This could also be the reverse. It could be you guys wanting to, um, to help someone as well. So uh, you guys have the sun here, and right beside it you had the star. So um, I definitely see that like healing, like like it was just so happy. Then you have like a new um, a new beginning. So they're just saying like things are just going to be looking so much brighter and better for you guys um, come the, like the second week to, to mid of March, um, especially if it is in the area of your career. I do see that someone kind of wants to offer you love and career as well. So it may like your love life and your work life may intertwine. Um, yeah, this like this, whatever is coming to you, it is tangible. Um, this person uh, knows how to make pentacles um, and they're very charitable. They're a very, very generous person, like super, super generous person. Um, and they work hard. They work really hard at what they do, and they're very knowledgeable. They're they're smart. Um, I kind of feel like you guys may have like somewhat wished for this. Like you guys like really, um, 
yeah, like you, like you wished for this, like you, this partnership, this, this life, this, like that, that coming to you, this new beginning, this adventure. Um, and, uh, they're just, there's just, it, it, you're just going to be feeling really happy. I feel like I'm, I'm really happy. Um, when I'm looking at this part of your, of your life, like when this is happening. So if you can move on, um, from that heartbreak, which it looks like you guys can, you can close out a painful cycle. Um, like I said, I see more like celebration and stuff like that. For some of you, you know, you may have to be a little sneaky about this wedding or this partnership, um, this like kind of bound bow that you're making. Um, so you could be possibly dealing with someone that is a little bit younger than you, um, or you could be younger even. Um, but, uh, it's interesting, like how this comes to you, um, it may be in the form of like, I'm picking up on two situations. So like, um, it's like some of you are offering it, but some of you are receiving it. So it's going to be like different for each of the little Leo collectives, but, um, yeah, it may seem like there's just something like a little like juvenile about it. Um, this person could possibly be an earth angel as well. You may also be an earth angel. Um, they really want you to, to, to go into your galactic coding, okay? Um, actually, maybe that's part of it. It's like, it's like um, this partnership, like there's, there's this like spiritual aspect to it, okay? There's like this... Um, this, uh, oh, this, oh, that's cute. Uh, they're saying, and like childlike vibe, like it's very like angelic, childlike, but not like, not in a bad way. It's like actually what brings you, I guess, a lot of happiness. Um, cause like there's just so much like, like it's like almost blinding to like look at it, like whatever this like creates. Um, so yeah, so like I said, it may, this this opportunity may come in the form of like, it may be kind of like, like young love, like I, I'm having a really hard time like spinning this out. Um, okay, there may also be like a, some sort of apprenticeship or some way that you can work and learn, um, or you may be thinking of offering that to someone as well. Um, because I see this person working and studying. Okay. Um, also like maybe like expressing knowledge as well. So, um, this person may have like, uh, a lot of, um, intellect in a certain topic for some reason, angels again is coming through. So weird. Um, Okay, so some of you might be holding on tightly to your gifts. Um, I'm picking up on for some reason if you are an earth angel, like you don't want to share it with anybody, um, which is interesting. Uh, you could also just be like really holding on to um, what it is that you have. Um, I'm hearing like in, in wealth um, because it brings you a lot of power. It brings you a lot of power, which makes sense. I mean, if you had spiritual gifts and nobody knew, like you'd have a lot of power, but you also have so much power if you share them. So um, keep that in mind. Uh, you may have a lot of options, okay? Especially once you like partner with this person or this group um, or like this offer comes in, there's gonna be like so many like avenues you could go. And they're saying that the, the spiritual one is actually gonna bring you the, the most gain. It, it brings like so much recognition, like it's crazy. The like, it's like everybody's got their eye on it. It's like everybody like wants to like, and it's like very victorious. Um, and I see you guys like going forward like a lot, like you're protected by the divine at this time as well. Oh yeah, last month you guys, uh, your angels were like really by your side too. So, um, but yeah, like they're really protecting you guys. Like you're very protected by the divine as you go ahead on this new venture. Um, and uh, like, I just see it being like, there's a lot of passion behind it. I think you and this, this person have a lot of passion or group have a lot of passion for this idea. Um, it's going to be received well. Like people are all like looking at it and like admiring it. There's a lot of attention on it. Um, it's really in the public eye. It's like, it's up there. It's out there. It's everywhere. Um, 
so yeah so interesting okay uh so once again like um air is coming through so there may be something like you need to like pay close attention to um so, I'm, so this is where it kind of splits off again for collective. So there's going to be a few different messages here. So for some of you, they really want you um, to pay attention to this earth sign because they are very magical. Like they, they are the magician. Now for some of you, um, be you're being warned about this earth sign because they are a magician and they have the moon here so this is like illusions like big time illusions um and like they're urging you to really pay attention to that and you had um an ending okay so like i said th there's messages coming through for everyone so they're gonna be a little bit different depending on um your situations and who's coming through uh, so yeah, so for some of you, like they want you to really pay close attention, but I mean, we did see at the beginning, um, I was picking up on like someone maybe being sneaky, um, and like just use your intuition and you guys will know what to do, right? Like they're saying like, once again, to use your intu in intuition, um, because things like may not always be what they seem. Uh, for some of you, um, you could be, uh, yeah, for some of you, like, this, this person, though, like, um, they have a lot of, uh, of knowledge, okay, like, knowledge that other people do not know, they can do things that other people cannot um they're saying like earth can also be an aspect in someone's chart there could also be a little bit of water there um so anyways i do see you guys though um moving out of conflict towards the end of the month like you guys like really like close out this this like tough cycle um in the month of march there like i said there's a lot of like healing that comes through especially like kind of in the second week there it's like the um towards the end of the second week into the third like you're on cloud nine like like i, I can't even tell you like this like aura around this like this like sun and star and new beginning is like there's just like yeah there's just such a beauty to it it's like such a beautiful union um very angelic uh so yeah so um you're moving out of conflict uh they're actually saying that for some of you you may be leaving um an earth sign to go towards um an air sign so they could possibly have um gemini or libra in their in their chart i'm also picking up on this like um balance between a Gemini and a Libra so um, and then moving out of conflict a lot of knowledge there a lot of knowledge there um, for some of you you could possibly um, be dealing with a Scorpio as well and uh, you will be moving out of conflict with them so uh, you may have to make a choice at some point um, in love uh, but there's also going to be justice served to you guys um, in the end of the month um, in love. And I don't see it being like a bad thing. Like I feel like if somebody like wronged you or hurt you, um, like that's, there's going to be like justice for that in the end. Um, yeah, it could possibly be this... Um, a water sign could have really hurt you or an earth sign could have really hurt you. Okay, so uh, in love, they were saying that finances and, and career are a huge uh, factor in your love life. So like I said, I really did see that um, that there was going to be some, some sort of crossover. Like you may like, this person may be like your partner in business and in love. Um, and, uh, 
that they were talking about healing family issues. So if you guys are still trying to close out like a, a tough cycle or like you are doing that like healing work, um, it may come from from uh, like not come from your parents because they really did try to do the best they, they could. Um, it's just that like it, there was a mass, there was a cycle going on, right? And we were the, the, the group to break this down, like us star children and indigos and, you know, we needed this age of turn to happen for this, for this to happen. So your parents, parents did it to them, they did it to you, um, forgive them forgive them okay it's 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 so not worth like carrying it around with you um in the end they they truly love you and you love them um and if not then be the bigger person and just forgive and love anyways uh, it's not saying that you have to like condone the behavior but you can definitely um forgive and and let go of that um they are saying some like inner child healing it would also really benefit some of you so uh, i'm just gonna quickly go over like how you could kind of do that um you can invite your higher self in you have your present self and you can invite your um inner child um, you can ask Archangel Raphael in meditation to take you back to a time in your childhood um, that needs to be healed and uh, you can talk to yourself um, and kind of heal your inner child that way. Um, in my experience, because I've dealt with a lot of um, like healing uh, people's inner child, um, often uh, the child, like the inner child, um, will want to still be able to communicate with you um, and like your higher self. So you can always use like a crystal, uh, like tell them that like, you know, or just tell them that they can come to you whenever they want. Um, you know, it may take a few sessions. Um, and yeah, it's just important to know and to be able to see, uh, you know, like your higher self, you and and your inner child, and know that you guys are like a like a like a power of three, um, and that you guys um, are so beautiful and so special to the universe. Okay, uh, for some of you, someone from your past is going to be returning. Uh, so I got a few things for 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 a few messages for this one. Uh, for some of you, I mean, it is Mercury retrograde um for part of part of the month so um you know beware of um exes returning for some of you it's someone from a past life finally returning to you okay um finally like i just hear this like finally like like it's the one like the one i've been waiting for um you may look at this person like an angel um there is this like really like angelic vibe like once again like this reconciliation is like so beautiful like maybe this is where that like happiness really comes from um it's weird though i didn't see like a like a, a past a past card coming up so um anyways there there could just be um something returning to you from the past as well that um really just like releases um with the past if that makes sense um for some of you there there is going to be this like kind of separation um i did see like like i said i did see you guys kind of like ending something at the beginning of the month so you may be walking away from someone towards someone else um at the at the beginning of the month or at some point uh could for some of you could even be possibly more at the end of the month like uh really like making um this decision um and getting like that justice and stuff uh for some of you there may be some travel um towards uh like maybe the closer to the end of the month um and uh it may it may just like cause some time apart from your partner just because of the travel I, I see for some of you it might just be because of work um and then they're saying that um it, like share your light share your light go out there flirt be charismatic be the charming beautiful leos that you guys are um extend your lightheartedness to others because it comes back to you um and i do feel like you guys are really gonna get this like upswing like this like really beautiful energy coming in um kind of in that uh like mid mid month 
Um, okay, I hope that that helped you guys. I love you so much. Sending you lots of love and light. Bye.